I'm connecting to our inventories, our desire and fear inventories with regards to attention um, because of negativity bias, which has a weight with when it comes to our neural networks. We don't have to have our fears in conscious cognitive attention for our fears to dictate our life. But if we're going to let our desires have magnitude and influence in our life and come into form, then we actually do need to have cognitive conscious attention um, in relationship with those desires. And so I'm thinking about all the practices that we do that help us to get more connected to our attention, that help us build neuroplasticity and build the muscle of the utilization of attention so that we can have attention, cognitive attention with our desires, but then also throughout the day, keep putting that attention so that it keeps feeding the loop of manifestation.